Hello, my beautiful butterflies, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I'll be bringing you guys another Chanel unboxing. This collection that I'm going to share with you today has not yet launched, but I heard from some of you in the comments that you don't mind me sharing the collection before it has launched. So your wish is my command, you guys. So today, as you can see right here, I have just taken everything out of the box. I have not seen it yet, so it's gonna be a true unboxing. The only thing I've seen was the launch photos um, that was sent to me from my client advisor. So, yeah, here is what I selected. So, right here on the top, I have just an envelope from Chanel. And in here, I suppose, is my receipt. So, I am going to share pricing information with you um, in this collection. And as you can see, I have a little note there from her. So sweet. And then my receipt is there on the back side. But I'll share with you the actual pricing on this since it's not available yet online for me to link it and you see everything. But as soon as it becomes available, I will be sure to link it in this video. So let's move along. It's always nicely packaged there. So let's just see here. And right on the top, I see I have some gift with purchases. And let's just open these two here. So this looks of some little bracelet or charm of some sort that has the little Chanel Chance bottle on it. And then I have this one here that says number one de Chanel, which I love the skincare again. Oh, oh, it's a little headband. Isn't that cute with the camellia flower on it? So when I'm doing my skincare, I can actually put this around my head when I'm washing my face or putting on makeup. That would be so nice. So, I got that. So lovely. And then, here is that beautiful box with the collection in it, all nicely wrapped. So, let's just get that off. Let's see what we have in here. So, here is what that looks like. I love opening these packages from my client advisor because she really pays attention to detail. She actually sprays the fragrance on here and she has it with the beige, which I love the beige um, exclusive fragrance. I actually own that so I can smell it as I open this box. It smells so good. But this is what I picked up from that collection. I see I have some more goodies down in here. So let's go over that. So here we go, the beige, which again, I love. So this is a sample fragrance here, and I love these little sample fragrances. They are great for travel, which I have an upcoming trip, so I'll be using that. Then I have a Lilith Lotion sample here. And then I have a Lilith Serum. And then I have the Lilith Cream. So beautiful samples. So as you can see, I picked up four items from this collection. I will go over all the items with you and put 
pictures on the screen, even the ones that I didn't pick up. I'll tell you why I skipped those as well. So first, let me start off by saying this collection really struck a chord with me because it was built around one of my favorite things, y'all. The ocean, the water, the shore. So naturally, especially one of the palettes that I saw, I was just like, oh yes, I have to have it. So with this collection, it has two eyeshadow palettes in it. It has a duo blush. It has um, a highlighter, um, a balm essential, an eyeliner. It has nail polishes, lippies, you guys. It has just about everything. So let's get into the items I purchased and then I'll go over the items that I skipped with you. So first off, I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to start off with the one that I was intrigued about the most. And this one is in number 78, Ravage. Ravage just means sure in French. So, yes, you guys, this one stood out to me the most. So here, like last spring collection, they have it color-coded. You see like the little emblem on the front. There's just that little card down in there. And here we are with the beautiful velvet pouch with the CCs on it. Here we go. And here is that beautiful palette, you guys. Now, if you know me, you know that blue stood out to me in this palette, you guys. So, I was so intrigued by that. It actually makes me think of the water just looking at that. So, I had to pick this one up, you guys. I think this one is going to be my favorite of the two. And I'm no stranger to wearing blue eyeshadow. I think the shade would be gorgeous all over the lid, in the corner of your tear duct. You can just do so many looks with that. You can put it on the outer corner. You can put it in the center of the lid as a pop. Y'all, I'm going to have fun with this one, you guys. So again, this is number 78, Ravage. And I definitely will do swatches of this for you. So here is what those swatches look like on my skin. That blue is gorgeous, y'all. And that brown here is going to be a good transition color for me. So I can already see putting this in my crease and then this on my lid and one of these in my tear duct as a highlight. Yeah. This is going to be gorgeous. So that's that one. And so next palette we have is number 88, Coral Treasure. You know I love a coral, you guys. So this is that one there. I love the color blocking all on these. They are so cute. And it's actually nice if you're one who stores their shadows in the boxes, then it's color coded for you. But I don't do that. I just think it's a nice look. So let's just see Coral Treasures. Again, the nice velvet pouch. I'm going to have to put on beige, y'all. Because <laughs> it smells so good. This box smells so good that she sprayed it with. So, 
here is the bright coral treasures. Let me just take this off here. And so there is that pop of color. So if you like a pop of color like me, you're going to love this one. With this palette here, I think that all these shades would be good one and done shades. Just like all over the lid for like a simple look. Of course, you can do other things with them too. But that just really stands out to me. Just doing it all over the lid. Either shade I think will be gorgeous. Talk about vibrant. Here is the next palette here. And this is the Coral Treasures. All those ones I told you that could be one and done. The first one is that glitter. And the rest are the satiny shades. And they all are nice, bright, vibrant shades. That is the swatches of those. And so next they had an eyeliner in the collection. And of course I picked up that. I thought it would be beautiful in my waterline. And so let's just take a look at that. And so here is that waterproof liner here in number 82. And it's a gorgeous blue, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, look how bright and pretty that is. Oh, wow. I'm excited for this blue. <laughs> So you're definitely going to see this in the upcoming housekeeping, y'all. I'm excited for that one. That blue is stunning. Lastly, what I got from this collection is this nail polish here. Now, they had two in the collection. I picked up one. And this is in 179 Lagoon. And if you know me, you know what color it is. I picked up this gorgeous blue in that collection. Look at that. Gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it. So I'm excited for this one as well. Look at that with that blue eyeliner. Y'all. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh. So there is a swatch of that beautiful blue nail polish in Lagoon. Y'all, it's gorgeous. So it hasn't yet dried yet. And yeah, putting another coat on there would just really make it like the bottle. It's gorgeous, you guys. So that is Lagoon. That is what I picked up in this collection. So let's talk about what I skipped. Since we're on nail polishes, I did skip the second color, which looks like a coral color. It's 177 Sun Drop. So I skipped that one and picked up the blue. They also have a blush in this collection. I skipped on that because I just recently purchased that one from the Labages collection, which is right here in that coral shade. Now, if I would have saw the blush in this collection first, I might have waited and purchased that one because it's the best of both worlds. So it has a coral in it and a pinky color. So they both are my type of blushes. So I might have purchased that one over this one. But nonetheless, I'm happy with this one. As you can see, I already have been using it. It's my type of blush. I love a coral shade over any. So yeah. I was only saying that because it's two in one. It's a duo blush. If you can remember from spring collection last year, um, 
I picked up that collection when I was in Canada and they had that beautiful, beautiful highlight and blush. It is stunning, you guys. I love it. So I've been getting use out of this one as well. So this one, again, was Spring Collection last year. So that's how that one looks. And it gives you a nice little glow with that one as well. And then just to share with you also the palette from last year's spring collection. I'm taking you guys back. That's how that one looks. As you can see, my favorite shade was this one. <laughs> but yeah, just to give you a glimpse of what they did last year. Now. The next item I skipped on that was in that collection, I was so tempted because y'all know I love highlighting products. So it was a highlighter. And this one in this collection looks like it has a bit of a blue undertone. So that's what stuck out to me. But I was just like, oh, I have a white highlighter. And it's huge. I got it from that um, recent collection that they had with the oversized highlighters. And so, yeah, there was absolutely no reason for me to get that one. Because everything I can get out of that one, I can get out of this one. It just had a little bit of a blue undertone. So, yeah, I skipped the highlighter. But if you're in the need for a highlighter, I thought this one in this collection was gorgeous. The next highlighting product I skipped was one of my favorites, y'all. And it is the Balm Essentials. Those Balm Essentials, you guys, I love them. And if you can remember from last year spring collection again i bought the two balm essentials they had so i bought this one here and then i also bought this one here and again these are those all over bombs you guys know i talk about them all the time because they are good for your face. You can put them on your eyelids for some glow. Um, your cheeks. I love to use them on my lips, you guys. Because they feel so, so good. So, yeah. These were the two from last year. Now, they do have one in this collection as well. And it looks similar to this neutral one that I have. It might be slightly darker, but it looks similar to this. I will put it up on the screen along with all the information you need. So the reason that I skipped that one is just simply because I have a lot of the balm essentials and it looks very similar to this one right here, but it might be um, slightly a little bit more glowy. It seems to be have a little bit more pigmentation in it that was the highlighting products they had the uh, illuminator and then the balm essentials next i skipped on all of the lippies y'all so they had two from the allure lack line and i believe it was number 92 seashell and then 93 sea star which one looks just like a neutral brown and then the other one was a red. But I have one here just to show you what it looks like. And if you're in the market for one of these, go ahead and pick one of these up because I love this Rouge Allure Lac Line. This in the Duo line 
are my two favorite ones because they stay on so well, you guys. So if you're out, there's no reason to touch up. The other longer one, let me grab one so I can show you what it looks like, stays on the longest. But this is a lot and it stays on as well. So they have two of these in that collection. So these are the other ones here. Now this one is my favorite of all time from Chanel. If you don't want your lipstick to budge, get you one of these, y'all. Because you have your color on one side and then the other side is a clear sealant. I call it a sealant because it locks your lipstick in. Once you put this over top of it, it ain't budging. So this is my favorite and my runner up is the lax. So for long lasting, I love those you guys. And then they also had some Rouge Cocoa Balms Y'all already know these are not my favorite. I just picked up two from the Levageous collection and they felt waxy. So I wasn't going to give them a try again. But they do have some of these in the collection as well. Okay guys, so here is an overview of what I picked up from the Chanel 2024 Spring Collection. I'm so excited for these items, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me for Makeup Monday. I hope your day is going well. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.